What's up guys, Game Fan Fan of All Games here, and I'm back giving you another drama script this Saturday. And I'm just gonna go over was the quick fix worth it? Did it work? As you guys know, um the authority is back for you know lame terms, and they're in complete power again, you know, and the last time we saw this, they were all heels. But this time it seems like Vince, Shane, Stephanie, and Triple H, they they're seem to be going on the face side. So they started off raw, all of them came out, and they said that they they know they screwed up. I mean, yeah, the last two weeks of raw has been horrible. So they're basically saying they're going to make it up and they're going to start listening to us. So what they did was they did the quick fix. They they gave us a promo about how uh, EC3, Heavy, Mercen Heavy Mercenary, Lars Sullivan, and Nikki Cross and Lacey Evans are all eventually going to come up to the main roster soon, which we already know that because if you guys are hardcore wrestling fans, you know that people always get brought up around Royal Rumble. Someone always in NXT gets brought up in the Royal Rumble. Perfect example, Rusev. Came out in the Royal Rumble, and then you know that someone always gets brought up right after WrestleMania. So of course, with the Royal Rumble being roughly four to five weeks away, we already know this, but they just want to tell us this, like it's gonna change anything. We we knew we might have known it wasn't gonna be these list of wrestlers, but we knew that some someone was going to get brought up around Royal Rumble time. Then they give us both a Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens um, video return package, which we could guessify that they were probably going to come back during the Royal Rumble. I mean, like, you know, Sami Zayn, two torn rotator cuffs, and then Kevin Owens with the, the two knee surgeries. But the Sami Zayn thing, I pretty much guessed he was probably going to come back around Royal Rumble time because that was like seven months ago and it was rumored to take around six to seven months to heal so it's like it's like they're just they're just telling us what we if we paid enough attention to the product which she would which she we already know so from a from a hardcore fan like me I'm not gonna say it didn't do anything but it didn't do much you just telling me stuff that I already knew were, was eventually going to happen. Now for the casual fan that just watches Raw every day, this was, this, this did, this is amazing. And I guess that, that was their goal. And they did what they finally, 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 finally did that I was complaining about for the longest. They finally decided to do some type of story development. They started planting seeds for stuff so I could come back and watch next week. With the Ronda Rousey thing, she says, oh, I feel that, you know, you should have to defend your title after you've defended it at the pay-per-view, and then they do a gauntlet, which Natty wins. So now, next week, and I know the spoilers are out, I didn't watch it, I didn't watch any of the, the Christmas tapings or anything. So next week, it's going to be Ronda Rousey versus Natty. Okay, good. Then with the, the ATP thing, they wanted a rematch. Shane McMahon's like, oh, no, you have to earn your rematch. And then the Revival magically wins, which I don't even remember the last time the Revival won on Raw. I, I don't, I really can't remember. But they finally planted seeds so you, so you could come back to watch next week, something that I've been complaining about. And then we go on to SmackDown, and then Paige is no longer the GM because this like the authority takeover. So, but face authority takeover. But we haven't seen what um, Paige's new role is gonna be. Um, hopefully, we'll find out. I'm gonna say two weeks from now, SmackDown, because we know this SmackDown is the taped Christmas SmackDown, which the spoilers are already out. I didn't see the spoilers. Please don't post any spoilers on the, the comment section. But I didn't see any. And then we had a promo with Charlotte, Asuka, and Becky, which made sense. Asuka, even though Asuka won, 
everyone is mad at Ronda, which they should be, because Ronda came in and tipped over the other and left, and Oscar won. So eventually, I'm just, uh, and then and then Paige said the Becky versus Oscar at uh, Royal Rumble is unofficial; it's not clear. So I don't know. Maybe we'll get a triple threat match. Who knows? Maybe this carries on all the way over to WrestleMania 35. I'm interested to see how this plays out. But once again, they're giving us things to come back next week and then Mustafa Ali is magically part of the SmackDown roster after not being able to be Cruiserweight Champion so but which is good because he wrestled gave one hell of a match and a tag team match against Daniel Bryan so I'm looking forward to more Mustafa Ali versus Daniel Bryan matches but that's gonna wrap this up for this week's drama script Saturday uh, let's, we're going to have to give this some time, see how, if they really do listen to us. And besides the last two weeks, they already have. I mean, who would have thought that Daniel Bryan, a year ago, we thought that he would, a year ago, we thought that one, he'll never wrestle. Two, rumors that he may go back to Japan if he, if WWE didn't let him wrestle. We never thought that he would come back and then a month after he's back already be a WWE champion. So... I guess they, they do give us what they want at the end of the day. But that's going to wrap this up for this week's Drama Script Saturday. Remember, this is Drama Script Saturday every Saturday. If you, if you like what you have witnessed, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And until next week, guys, I'm out of here. Later and peace.